Hey guys, it's Sean and Sean here again for part two of Sparky's World War II guns. And today we have the right now we have the MP40 and the SGG44, which a lot of people call the MP44, but it's not a machine crystal, so it's a Sturmgewehr. bear. Let's so, go over this guy first. All right, you want to do the MP44? Yes. Which one do you want to do? Okay, explain it's everything you can. Pretty much, in real life, the SCG-44 pretty much is the grandfather of an AK. Uh, the AK is actually a very similar uh, bolt system and everything, bolt and gas system, and actually very similar. Really, this gun came too late to help anything out in World War II. There wasn't enough of a made and not enough distributed to stop the American numbers that kept coming from America. With all their tanks and yeah. equipment, which but the guns are cool. Yes, actually, the Germans knew how to make a gun. Still do with the HK stuff. That's you all know. I have. Um, so pretty much from what I'm familiar with is the reason they did stamp scale and wood is because it was the most easily available materials, and that's what they were able to produce quickly and efficiently. Exactly, stamp steel is a lot thinner, a lot easier to work with. You can machine it a lot easier. Um, but the big thing of the time during the war. Which, that is why the gun got held back so long, because the uppers and the military didn't want to have a stamp steel gun. They saw it as being cheap. And that's why the Car 98 stayed in service for so long, because they figured the weight of the gun would do way better than a, a stamp steel weapon that, who knows, might blow up in their hands. But actually, the stamp steel was one of the better ways to make it, which, once the MG42 came out, they saw the... They saw the good things that the stamp still could do. So, but then this has a very similar AK style sight rear sight. The sight picture is almost identical to an AK. It's got the stamp still all the way down, really solid construction. You can knock out an orphan with it, just give him a quick bus right in the face. Don't do that to last. Is this real wood? Thing. Actually, yes, this is real wood. And the other cool thing that they added to it, yeah. they added the little section. For the cleaning kit, which is a cool little extra little garnish that they put onto it. Make an airsoft cleaning kit. But put it in there. Pretty much mag release, very simple. The big button. Just push the big button and the mag comes out. Very easy. This one is a 400 round mag cap. Is it a working bolt? Yes. yes, yes it is. Working bolt, but also with the dust spring cover. dust cover. Yep. Full of just M4 style hop up. Nice, easy, upgradable. I haven't done anything to these. And they mostly just in my case and I own them. What version of gearboxes are these? Uh, these are, um, actually, I believe these are version. I actually haven't taken this one. It's a modified version 3 gearbox. It's a version 2 gearbox with a little motor plate thing that makes it a uh, version 3. It's pretty much from my old school days. Uh, they call it a Smokey's Grip. It was to turn any version 2 with M4 into the version 3 style gearbox, which was much stronger. But and they're both by AGM, correct? Yeah, both my MP40 and my MP40, uh, SG44 are both AGMs, which hasn't been a problem. Been working well for me. So and for as much as I use them, yeah. they're great. And I noticed that this has a forward sling mount, and then so what? So these guys can understand because I need to know as well. What type of sling would you use with the rear one since it doesn't have something that you can click on like the front one? With that one, the way I do it, I run a piece of paracord through it and tie off to of that. Which is pretty much I don't have the actual World War II one. Yeah, the actual STG sling for it. And I can get it, it's just expensive. That's the only thing. Oh, money. Sucks. But yeah, yeah. my M44 or STG4, I don't know what. Keep doing that freaking thing, but bad habit. But yeah, it's an awesome gun. And it just, it's like you can actually get some field distance on this. And what is this shooting stock usually? Um, stock, you come shooting around 400. Okay. So it's actually a pretty good field gun. So if you guys are definitely reenactors and need a field gun, this would be it. And yeah. actually, for reenacting, the airsoft is one of the best, like, easiest ways to get the old school guns. Especially when you want to do a good German one. Do they make mid caps for either of these? I believe they do for that, but do they for this? Um, for the SG44, I don't think they do. They only have the mid caps for the MP40. Okay. 
Which, onto the MP40. Yes. So Actually, the MP40 is like, but again, I pretty much use this one indoors sometimes. I haven't used it in a while, actually, that's why it's, it's a little bit dusty on it, but it's still good. But, like, the thing about the MP40, the uh, real one, 32 rounds, Airsoft one, it's the standard cat. Oh, I see. Can't I just want to ask you about the Oh, okay, the beetle. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, magazine, the standard magazine. I normally carry like six of these when I go because there are not too many rounds. I think there's only 50 rounds in this thing. I actually forget it's actually been that long. That's why, I, that's why I'm kind of sad about that. But the Airsoft one, semi-automatic, fully automatic with the easy selector, which you've probably seen in before you reviews before. It's a pretty fun gun though. Yeah. Uh, the thing about this gun though, it was you know used by the uh, German army in World War II. And actually only squad leaders and paratroopers. Normally we're the only ones that carry them. So when you see some of the movies and you see everybody with an MP40, it's not true. that's not usually the way it goes. Usually one guy had an MP40 was a squad leader, the rest of the guys had a car 98, you know, bolt action. So it's kinda of like how the Americans had the sergeants had Thompson. Yeah, Sergeant had Thompson, the rest had Grants. You know. Uh, cool thing, like other than yeah, yeah. is the uh, folding stock. Just pushing the button. Exactly. Pushing the button. Pull down the thing and you're good to go. But actually, I found with this gun, it's just more fun to hold it at your waist yeah. and just shoot. It feels a lot more fun. Oh, but going back to it, I was talking about the selector on the real one actually. It was only full auto. And the thing, there was no semi automatic on it, and the way you would fire, since it had such a slow rate of fire to it, you could actually control your fire. Like, so you could go. You know, pop, or you can just hold it down, pop, 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 type thing. That's another cool little feature of it. Uh, the bolt is not spun back because on the real one, I believe it was also, but eh, just a nice little cover. Yeah, it's the same it's Easy, as easy as well. to it, just a uh, hop up. And like Sean said, of course, like in old World War II German style, push the large, large button to release the magazine. And then as well, like the way these are designed, um, MP40s for a little stamp seal, the same. They need to get guns out quick and efficiently, and that's exactly. just like pretty much. They were trying to do what we were doing here in America. I was trying to beat the production, get stuff out as fast as you can, get it to the front lines so you can defend. And this is—is is this a real sling as well? Oh uh, yeah, this is a pretty much a reproduction MP40 sling, which just. Hooks on the back, not the most tactical of anything. Definitely not like any of the cool slings that are available nowadays. Just pretty, pretty easy one. Just to sling it over your shoulder and it meets the walk, top. walk the fifty miles you have to walk. Now I, I just curious uh, because I, I don't know as well. What is the design of this? Is you know, on that one, you got, you got me because I forgot. Actually, I used to know, but right now my mind is drawing a complete blank. But you can hold it and. Without burning your hand, you could hold it like that, and then this as well, correct? Yeah, that was more. That's the more comfortable way to hold it. All right. So that's the gist of his World War II assault rifle. I don't want to say. Am I allowed to say assault rifle? Well, actually, this one's an assault rifle. This one is a machine gun, pretty much. Machine okay. pistol. That's why it's an MP40. MP40 is German for machine pistol. So. And now you know. And that, <laughs> and the number is 40. It was made in 1940. Just like the MP or the SG44 was made in 1944. Alright, and uh, so if you guys just make sure you stay tuned because the last video of this series will be the MG42. Yeah. But, as always, player, play safe. Play safe. Um, see you later.